So this was a fractal dance. And this is part of the Natural Sciences Engineering Research Council initiative for public outreach. And so twice a year they have these big events. So we are one of a thousand events across Canada that are part of Science Odyssey. basically just a repeating pattern and it's infinite, it goes on forever. Its perimeter is infinite and its area is infinite and they're often found in nature. If you think about it, the way that a trunk comes up, the trunk splits into to smaller branches and those branches split into even smaller branches and the branches split into twigs, those are the repeating fractals that make up, or the repeating patterns that make up a fractal. <laughs> three groups. Each group, one group was standing, one group was kneeling or sitting on their bum, and the other was laying down on their back. They all just switch when the other instrument went on. So when it was trombone, one group was standing, and then when it switched over to ta saxophone, they sat down. One of the moves was like this, and it was to represent a maple leaf, which is an example of a fractal. If you look at a maple leaf, it's, there's a pattern on it, and it's going to repeat forever. There were the trees and the leaves, and there was waves and the galaxy. The really neat thing about fractals is they repeat, and they repeat at different scales, and they repeat in slightly different versions. And so we go from playing that set of notes with the instruments to then humming those same set of notes, but now with a completely different instrument, the human voice. Now when you think about math, when you think about patterns in science, all of those students have a very different personal connection between art and science. And one of the great things we can do with these kind of events is help break that down so that when, as these, these students are going through school, they're not seeing them as separate. And they're seen as art and science as this sort of spectrum, this continuation. How amazing.